I, I moved back to to Tulsa, and the first event that I went to was a bead show. It was maybe in March or February of 06. No, 07. 07. And, uh, and they had natural stones as well as uh, synthetic stone or remanufactured silica. And so I started buying beads. I love beads. So I started making uh, uh, You jewelry. made that necklace? Pull it out a little bit. Pull it up. Let's look at it. What's that made from? A green agate. Green agate. What's the uh, string or the cord? It's a uh, memory wire. Memory wire. I found that that the uh, multi-strand steel uh, uh, stringer that that it that it that uh, there's stresses on that it'll break no matter what the test strength is. And you bought that the beads in a market? You said they uh, most of the. The uh, groups come out of San Diego. They're Chinese, and they uh, they they meet with the other Chinese in the Dallas, and they travel around the uh, United States having bead sales. And uh, most of the beads are manufactured in China. There's even a Rocky Mountain man that collects his stones. Puts in container, ships it to China. They cut it in beads, and then he sells it here. So no matter where the stone comes, Brazil, whatever, they ship it over to China. Have it manufactured. Can you pull it out so we can get a closer look at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so this, it's green. It's it got is. a green uh, translucency to it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got little. Uh, there's a little segment attachment pieces. Okay. 